Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Core Gadget and we're going to do a minimalist music project using only two instruments. This marimba here from Glasgow and this piano from Salzburg. So that's it. I've set myself some rules, a uh, maximum of eight tracks, four Salzburgs, four Glasgows. So Glasgows are all playing the same marimba, Salzburgs are all playing the same piano. Uh, rules are four bars long and just let's go the, the key here is repetition loops and start simple and we can it'll as we build up you'll see it will start to sound more complex um it's quite interesting it's a, a type of music that i would suggest that you at least have a go at because you know it's good fun so we're going to start with this glasgow let me get on here and give ourselves a count in Okay. We can turn our metronome off now because that's given us a count. Let's go into our piano. Let's just record that. Duplicate this. And let's go to our next Glasgow. Now we could go on to this Glasgow and start to add stuff over the top of that, but I want to start dropping stuff out later on. So let's go with this. Musical phrases, but when you start to stack them on, on top of the other tracks, and I think with this as well, also, I'm going to go up an octave. going to do is copy this and paste it here and clear it from there and go and record something simpler in that one A 
and I'm going to record the same as that on top of that one as well. Well, I'm going to actually duplicate this and do it on this one. that over this now so start to actually add stuff onto the existing tracks a bit like we did with this one up there so, so let's go back to this first glasgow and see what we can do
because I had recorded on it, recorded in Emotion. Eh? <laughs> somewhere i don't know i'll have to go in and edit that just let me get, get rid of this top part of this midi here and i'm not sure there's a way to erase all this stuff but just let me take a sec i think i did some more up here didn't i oh is there a way to Get rid of all of this pain in it if I have to. Might cut this little bit while I just get rid of all these notes, otherwise you'll be bored to death. Okay, let's see. What have we got now? Hopefully it's back to normal. Oh, do you know what I could have done? Just cleared that and copied that in. There's a tip for you. <laughs> right, okay. Still a note there, don't matter. Won't hear it. quantization for this marimba to one thirty second because I'm going like so that doesn't need want to be one sixteenth otherwise I won't catch some of those notes so okay let's just try this Oh, oh, let's just clear that out, clear, yep, and make sure that I am on the track that I want to add to, which is this one.
alternating arpeggios. So there's one's going uh, and alternately the other one is going. So it sounds really nice. So we'll record that in. Something more bass endy for this one.
and on and on you can go uh building this stuff up dropping stuff in dropping stuff out building big complex pieces but taking bits and pieces out at the end and then just going backwards and forwards and you just basically mess around if you make mistakes you can always just cut stuff and you know do what we did it's really good fun i really enjoy millers the idea the, the confusing thing is that then the, the the type of music it is so we've got all this going on here and then let's see we could probably drop out some more of this stuff we could probably drop that one out of there just for fun um it's not the fact that it's there's a, only a couple of instruments or it it sounds empty um, it just means that you're limiting yourself to like a set structure of notes, kind of like a, and then just repeating those notes over and over and over again, and then building up with other stuff. So it starts to sound really dense. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I think it's good fun. I think gadgets is great for this because, you know, I mean, you have to play the stuff in, but you can always draw the stuff in via MIDI. You know, you don't have to play it in. I just, it, it's just easier for me to play it in than it is to, to draw it in via the MIDI. Anyway, guys, listen, I am going to make a few adjustments to this. I am going to have each part play for two. Um, let's go to the second one two times as well. And the cool thing is, if you want to get really complex, you can musically uh, and with time signatures because Gadget allows you to change this tempo and also the time signature for each of these separate scenes. So you can add even more complexity in. And of course, you don't need to just use two instruments or one instrument. You can use as many different types of instruments as you like. So you could have some strings going on, some vocals going on and build it up that way as well, you know. So you're not just having two, um, let's go back out of function. You're not just having two um, instruments play like Miriam and piano but if you're new to it it's nice to start with maybe just one or two in fact before we go what I'll do is I'm going to save this I will play this at last but I'll also quickly run through the oh that's I there's nothing in that attempt it was just an idea I was playing with with some choir sounds what well, there's nothing recorded this one is one that I did the other day and I'll just play through this and this is just using piano right okay let's play this one first You get the idea there so this was built I, I took a little bit more care with this one obviously but it's exactly exactly the same concept as this one was 
So, guys, if you're watching Vera Premier, thanks so much for joining us. Um, thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you all very soon. Strike that like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Consider becoming a patron or making a super chat or a super sticker because it really seriously does help me and Joe here at the sound test room. Anyway, brilliant. Top job. Cool beans. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da. So each one is going to play twice now.